Hi, Simon at Vans today in Worcester. Um, just giving you a video of this uh, of this little uh, latest project. Little being possibly not the best word to describe it. A little project van. Uh, so this is going to be my new daily, um, replacing our Amarok V6 that we've run for the last two years through COVID, which has been a absolute trooper of a vehicle. Um, so this is a Man 3 sorry a man tge 3 180 auto four-wheel drive uh, in a five-seat combi format so i'll do you a quick video give you a quick idea of exactly what it is and then uh, have a have a look uh, and maybe follow the progress we're going to be doing some progress updates of how we're going to modify this thing and uh, what we're going to do with it um, how we live with it as a family um, and how we live with it as a business workhorse as well um, so let's show you around it. So it's a 2022, as I say, it's the MAN TGE 3180 uh, factory combi uh, with the, um, I think it's an eight speed auto gearbox. It's the two litre TDI with 180 brake horsepower. That may be something we'll change on it as well. Obviously we're a Pendle remap agent. So uh, I believe with a remap on these things, we can take them up to about 240 brake. Um, so that will make it a bit interesting. But I've got to say, um, you know, I've come up the M6 to here today um, and uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's quite capable on the motorway, really. You know, um, easily sits, easily sits at 70 mile an hour, officer. No problem at all. Um, and what else can we say about it? So it's got a three ton tow capacity. I think we're going to have a look at seeing if we can... Uh, we can do anything with that to try and get it up to the three and a half ton tow capacity that ideally i wanted i have to say we've got other vehicles that'll do it um, if we can do something with this to get it up to three and a half ton uh, maybe fit the vba suspension uh, to the back end of it um we'll uh, we'll have a word with a few people see what we can do about um getting that reclassified um whether it's possible or not um, but they're, um, what can I say? So it's a bit, you know, people go, oh, it's a bit of a monster. Yeah, I kind of guess it is, you know. We were looking at, um, you know, we run a V6 Amarok. We were looking, you know, potentially going back down the Land Rover route at one point. You know, Disco 5 commercial or the new Defender. Um, but they're just not very big for what we want. We want practicality. Um, you know, things like fitting bicycles motorbikes uh, both my girls are hockey goalkeepers so those hockey goalkeeping bags are massive um, and then just the normal stuff that we carry around or I carry around with me from a business point of view um, you know we're going to have it all kind of racked out and uh, well not actually properly racked out it's going to be just custom to how I want it to be in the back end and the back end is pretty damn big so very difficult to see isn't it on the video just how big this thing is but um it's a medium wheelbase low roof basically and if we open up the back end of the vehicle let's just clip those doors into place you know at the moment i've literally thrown the stuff out of the amarok into the back of here um it's still got the bare metal floor uh we're gonna have a, a flooring made for it we're gonna have sides made for it we're gonna dynamat it we're gonna do a bit of carpet lining in here as well it's going to look at having some LED lights in the back of here. Uh, lots of storage being the main thing. Uh, probably a wheel chock for motorbikes. Um, coat hooks. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a box full of like straps there for the trailer. Yeah, we've got uh, yeah various bits of kit that we carry around with us all the time. So... Uh, it's massive in the back there. You know, if you wanted to uh, bang in a double air mattress in the back of there, it wouldn't even touch the sides. Um, so um, it is massive from that point of view. Uh, we've got a tow pack already fitted to it. Factory tow pack with the factory uh, single step on the back of it. It's got the factory reverse camera up there. It's got factory front and rear sensors. It's got lane departure warning system. It's got the auto cruise control. Um, yeah, opening mid windows. We ordered it with the black steel wheels. That's probably another area that we'll get it upgraded on as well. I've got my eyes set on 
a set of OZ um, rally wheels in black, probably with some general Grabber 83s, which is what we normally run stuff on. Uh, we've got LED front lights. Electric folding and heated mirrors. in so we've just gone for the three seat option in the back you can see it's all very nicely done isn't it headlining and stuff factory rubber mats fitted now i'm six foot something with the can i stand up straight in it no i can't because i've opted for the low roof vehicle but can I stand up okay in it? Of course I can. What else have we got going on? We've got heated front windscreen, we've got heated seats, we've got heated steering wheel, we've got air conditioning, we've got the eight speed auto box. Um, we've gone for the, this is the, uh, I think the business nav unit. So gives us wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, navigation, uh, it's got Wi Fi. I say active cruise control with a leather multifunction steering wheel. And just loads of storage and stuff. It's kind of not flash compared to, you know, some stuff out there on the marketplace, but are we gonna do some bits and pieces to it to make it a little bit more stand out? Um, well, I guess so. We're gonna look at a front runner roof rack on it as well. Uh, front runner ladder, LED work lights, front and back, uh, probably LED flashers, the wheels. We'll have a look at what sidebar options we've got. Uh, underbody protection after a little episode with the Amarok. We'll, uh, we'll look at that as well. Um, yeah, a few bits and pieces, so keep your eyes peeled if you're interested in following the project. Um, something that we thought we'd start doing is videoing a little bit of what we do with vans rather than just sell them, we do modify them as well. Um, and obviously we're on site with our, our partners on site, our Dirty Weekend Adventure Vans. So I've no doubt they're gonna be doing uh, a bit of the work to it for us. Uh, there'll be bits and pieces we do ourselves, obviously being the Pendle Remap agent and all the other various bits and pieces that we do. So it's just to give you an idea of, of what we can do. Uh, and if you're interested in one of these vans, then give us a shout, either new or used. Um, well, used on a combi is obviously gonna be quite semi-hard work at this current moment in time. Um, but um, we can convert for you as well. So if you want a combi and you've got a panel van, then it's all easily doable. Um, check out our website vanstoday.com we are vans today worcester based in the center of the country check us out we're on facebook instagram linkedin all of that malarkey cheers um i probably bored you a little bit too long but there we go cheers bye